Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you, um, a couple years ago I showed you a beet harvest. This is a beet harvest at the same field, and they have got this new machine that holds more, does wider rows, and it's a little bit different design. Instead of just a wheel that goes around, it's got a conveyor belt that goes up, and the picking part is right there on the front. They just go through this whole field, and this year, instead of having trucks at the side of the road, they've just mounded up all the sugar beets, and these get processed up at Saginaw, Michigan. There's a Pioneer Sugar up that way. There's one in Frankenmuth. So he'll, in the harvesting, the beet harvester, he'll unload into this guy so that they can get the job done. And I believe that's the same tractor I've seen running treads on it instead of tires last year. I was told by a neighbor that this new machine cost $770,000. And then he got another machine it's over that way. And I was told that that one was $550,000. So there must be quite a profit in this sugar beet business to justify that much expense on Here he is unloading the sugar beets. Now, if you have cattle or pigs at all, they really like these. A lot of roadside stands sell them um, as deer feed, which I've recently been told it's illegal to bait the deer now, but that food plots are okay. So people are doing this for food plots for the deer. Um, we, of course, know the farmer across the road, and there tends to be a lot of harvest left behind and last year he did the pickles we in the past have gotten the sugar beets now the sugar beets are kind of hard and big for the cattle they like them kind of busted up so you can take a sledgehammer to them but we usually go over with a few bushel baskets and collect some treats for the livestock here they wouldn't eat them busted up though So this is sugar beet harvesting, everybody. Fall of 2015. It's the day before Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.